What about like the crushing feeling of not having (sighs) that crush returned or yeah, like liking somebody and then hearing that they don't feel the same way. Mm -hmm. I think we should talk about rejection for a minute. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> full body chill I know we're all like yeah. Oh. Yeah. you know yeah rejection is it can definitely be tough you know especially if you I'm someone that works things up in my mind mm-hmm. and have you know I have a tendency to romanticize things yeah. yep. and get caught up in the fantasy of it all and then you're there in the reality and you've expressed your feelings and they may be like Oh, <laughs> don't feel the same don't way, <laughs> buddy, yeah. pal. You know, like, oh, great. Okay, this yeah. is awkward. Yeah. Um, you know, in those moments in in my life, that's when I really take a period of time to focus on myself, mm-hmm. because right. you know, I, I, you know. I get really wrapped up in things and I'm a very emotional, passionate person. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, But sometimes that means that when that, when that rejection happens, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. And so I take time to look internally, you know, maybe have a couple self care nights, um, you know, whatever that may be. Just take care of all your feelings. Take care of all my feelings. And honor what you're feeling too. Don't just like shove it away immediately. Yeah. I think like, look, we're not everybody's gonna like us and we're not gonna like yeah. everybody. Right. And that yeah. is the reality. But I love the learning to love yourself part of yeah. that because that rejection is gonna happen. Even even if you never told the person, right? What if you just have a crush on somebody and then they start dating somebody else yeah. or whatever? Like the rejection can come yeah. in all forms totally. of it not happening. But again, that would be a great place to say, well, what did I learn about myself during this crush? Mm-hmm. Right. And also to applaud yourself for taking the chance and saying that you like them. Like for me, if I've ever been rejected, which has happened, it happens to everybody, I think at a certain <laughs> point, I am I'm still proud of myself that I, I went out there and I said, hey, I like you, because that is a really vulnerable, scary thing like we were saying. So yeah. I think like even... No matter what the circumstances yeah. are, you can still applaud yourself for putting yourself out there and yeah. trying. Totally. And feeling it. Like, yeah. all, sometimes this isn't even right about the other person, as we said. Totally. It's like yeah. you, you're figuring out what you like in the world. And, mm-hmm. you know, look, also, let's talk about how you can reject I was going to say else that. In a yeah. good, boundaried way. Yeah. Because right. I will say this I think girls oftentimes are afraid to be really clear yeah. about that. They always kind of leave the door open. Oh, thanks. Maybe late. You know, I feel yep. like we should. I've done that. I think. <laughs> We veer on the on the verge of being polite when right. that's not really what we mean. Mm-hmm. Right. So how do we do that? That's a great question. I think you know you mentioned boundaries. Yeah, boundaries are key, um, especially if you want to have a friendship with that person in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I have always just been really honest about how yeah. I'm feeling. And that honesty can be difficult to express sometimes, especially if you're the one having to do the rejecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I but I think it's important to handle that moment properly when it happens. Yeah. Or else you're opening the door to a whole lot of mess in the future that you're inevitably going to have to take care of at yeah. one point and make signals as yeah. you as you mentioned. Yeah. What do you think? What could be like I let's maybe try on a good boundaried did not like decline I should say of somebody so if somebody okay. were to say to you hey Shay do you want to go out with me I, you know yeah, I, you I, Let's I, just, role play I this. saw you in action <laughs> Shay I saw you from afar you know we have science class together and I think you're really cool and smart and I like you <laughs> okay the way I would handle yeah. this which I've also had to do before because okay. I was everybody I think is I usually would say you are an amazing person. I really, really value our friendship. I think you're incredible, and I'm so flattered. But I just don't have those same feelings about you in that same way. I really like you as a person and as a friend, but I don't have romantic feelings. I think that's the way you say How's it. How's that feel, Chandler? <laughs> I'm already getting nervous. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, rejection is not always fun. But it's you know what? Fun. But you saying that and very being kind. honest. Yeah. Very kind. And clear. And clear. Yeah. And that's important. It that's is. really important. And it honors your feelings. Mm-hmm. But it's also respectful to the other person. It's, yeah, it's and not I saying, really I think important. you're really well, weird. Right. I don't want to go. Like, or, you or don't do no, that. No, not at all. Like laughing with your friends yeah. or ignoring that person. Yeah. Like, we do yeah. want to think of the other person's feelings. Yeah. Because they're in a very vulnerable position, you know? But also, I really like the, I like having sort of the clothes that you had right being specific I don't feel the same way thank you so much like I just think some of that is about what we've been talking about on the show which is it's okay to state what you prefer Mm -hmm. as a girl 
Right. It's okay to say what you want, say what you like. And you should. And you yeah. should do it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I also want to say, if you do it the opposite way and you say, oh, I don't really know how I feel, like maybe, maybe later. Or like if you're yeah. trying to break up with someone and you're like, I don't know. Like if you're not clear, then like Chandler was just saying, you have to deal with it later down the line because they're right. going to assume what they want. They're, so, they're going to assume that you still want to be with them. Of course. That, you yeah. know, so it's like if you I, lead them on, it makes it so much worse. So I have clear. a very smart friend named Brene Brown who says clear is kind, mm-hmm. unclear is unkind. Mm. So I love that. clarity yeah. is really important. 